In this video, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the EndNote desktop software so you know where the various tools and parts of the software are as you go forward in getting started with learning how to use the EndNote software. So this is a Windows PC running Windows 10, and I'm using the most current version of the EndNote X9 software. On a Mac, it is going to look a little bit different, but with the X9 version, EndNote did create common icons between the two versions. So you should at least be able to identify which icons do the same thing. And I'll point out some of the places where a Mac is going to look a little different than a PC. So starting here on the left, this left sidebar is titled My Library. This is where you're going to see your organization and a list of all of your groups that you create as you organize your library. You can see right here, I have a group, a smart group, and a group set. Down here, some information that you'll see later on about finding full text on the open web. And then these are just the default groups up here. All references is everything that you have in your library. Imported references shows what was pulled in on the last import. This is where you're gonna check your sync status between your desktop and your EndNote online account. Recently added, you can see if I right click here, I can choose what time frame I want to check for the recently added. Unfiled shows which records are not currently in a group. Right now, everything I have is in a group. And then trash is here for things that you delete. The trash does not empty itself. So if you accidentally delete something, it'll still be there in the trash. Over here in the middle is a list of records, depending on which thing you have selected in the My Library sidebar. You can see that it's defaulting here to go alphabetical by author. And then I have some other columns across here. If I right click on the sub bar, you can see that I can select which columns are displayed and each of these are sortable. So there's lots of different ways for you to display your records. A couple things to point out here, this first column shows a black dot. This means that these are marked as unread. You can go through and click on those dots to indicate that you have read that particular article. This is just to help you keep track of what you have or have not read. The second column shows paper clips. The articles that have a paper clip have a PDF attached. So you're able to see pretty quickly which ones have a PDF and which ones do not. The right sidebar over here is your individual reference window. So as I click on a particular reference, the information about it will appear in this sidebar. Starting on the reference tab, this is the information that I pulled from the library databases that includes author, year, title, and so on, identifying this particular article. As I scroll down, you can see there are lots of other fields down here, and it shows where the PDF is attached. This is one of the places that the Mac is going to look different than a PC. Instead of having tabs across the top, the Mac has these different windows kind of stacked on this sidebar. So the next tab you see on the Windows PC is a preview. This is a preview of the citation for this record, which is created based on the citation style that I selected up here in this bibliographic output style dropdown menu. It defaults to annotated, which includes a citation and then also the abstract, but I can change that and it will change in this preview window. This is just so you can see how it looks to see if there are any changes that need to be made before you create your bibliography. The third tab is the PDF attachment. This is the full text of the PDF. It is readable in here. You also have some options in EndNote to annotate this PDF. And you can do that with these two little caret buttons up here, the toolbar options. You can see I have options for adding a sticky note highlighting or underlining, striking out the text, or searching within this PDF's text. Across this top toolbar, there are some important points that I wanna point out. First of all, we already looked at this bibliographic output style dropdown. It gives you some options right here, but then there's also an option to select another style if your style is not one of these options. The circle made up of two arrows is the sync button. This will allow you to connect your desktop software to your online software, which will give you a backup of your library, but also allow you to add and organize references while you're away from your computer. 
The icon of the person with a plus sign is the button that will allow you to share your library with other users. You are able to share individual groups or your entire library. This top toolbar is where most of your tools are listed. One of the most important tools is under Edit, Preferences. This is where you're going to set your preferences for various different functions within EndNote. Finally, the Groups menu is where you will go to create groups, smart groups, and from groups, as well as group sets to organize your library to make it easier to find the records that you're looking for. That was just a brief overview of the different tools within EndNote Desktop. To learn more about using EndNote, ask a librarian or visit our Canvas module linked in the description below.